Now we're going to talk about the new technology that Dr. Doug helped co-found that actually will help detect whether you're going to have a heart attack within five years. It's called the pulse cardiac test. Dr. Doug, tell us all about it. The most common misconception for people is that uh, cholesterol causes narrowing of the arteries and you get this plumbing problem and suddenly you develop chest pain and you have a heart attack. But it turns out that most heart attacks are actually caused by injury to the arteries in the heart that cause an unstable lesion that can rupture and cause a blood clot and that's the cause of most heart attacks. Now that's a silent process. You have no symptoms until that lesion pops. So the pulse cardiac test is a blood test that was developed over a 15 year period by studying the process of these unstable cardiac lesion formations and uh, we found that we could identify substances in the blood that we could measure that when we combined them all would allow us to identify people who were at risk of having an event in the next five years but we caught them early enough so that we could intervene and actually prevent that uh, in the future. So what we're measuring is actually the body's immune response to the injury in the arteries and these proteins that leak into the blood we measure those and they allow us to identify people who have underlying damage that's silent and uh, this is a huge tool for doctors and healthcare providers because uh, it puts us in a situation where no longer do you have to have somebody go out and say I got a clean bill of health my cholesterol levels are all normal and they have a heart attack because cholesterol is just a part of the process this is the invisible part that we haven't been able to look at for all these years now we have a way of looking at you and saying okay Here's a part of you that we need to focus on and do something to keep you from having a heart attack. The CDC is estimating that two-thirds of the adult population in the United States has an actual heart age that's older than their chronologic age. And uh, the way that we determine the heart age, which turns out to be the most meaningful to people, um, I can give you all these fancy numbers yeah. and all these ratios and whatnot, but when I tell you that your heart age is older than your chronologic age, it wakes you up. And that's by design. The heart age is simply, uh, we take your calculated score and we identify how old you would be to have that score if everything else was normal, your cholesterol level, negative family history, no diabetes, that sort of thing. And that turns out to be your, your actual heart age. And uh, the nice thing about it is that if you do something about it, like maybe you cut out sugar in your diet or you change your exercise profile or you meditate and get rid of your stress, the heart age goes down faster than anything. So it turns out to be a really good marker and it's very motivating. You're full of great tips on how to prevent heart attacks because there are many, 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 many misconceptions there as well. And we're going to talk about that next. Mm -hmm.